well guys we're back at it again with the 944 exhaust um so i talked to some people on the forums they one guy actually said that the exhaust side engine mount actually kind of collapses sometimes so what we're going to do is i'm going to take loose those two top bolts i believe is all i need to do they're both 13 millimeter and basically going to jack the engine up and kind of pull it away from this piece and hopefully be able to fit the exhaust up through that's what i'm hoping for uh, I really hope it all goes to plan because it's making me depressed seeing this car set out here every day without an exhaust and not being able to drive it. And it's it's starting to become kind of, you know, very sad because you got like this wet spot under the car, this tire's going flat, um, you got all this crap building in this corner. Look at the sun fade on the roof now. It's it's pretty bad. You guys can't really see it because of the clouds, but it's, it's getting bad. Um, it's upsetting me. So I'm going to do my absolute give it my all to get this thing in here because I want to drive the car again because I miss it dearly. Um, but yeah, that's where we're at right now. Um, now I got the 13 millimeter wrench down in there. The problem is I don't really have enough leverage to pull it towards me down in there. So we're gonna see if uh, there might be a different solution or something to help. All right, well, I believe the last thing I left out on was uh, we were going to remove or undo the engine mount. Um, well, guess what, it worked. So we basically took out the engine mount um, jacked it up with a little bottle jack which is hiding under there with a piece of wood on the oil pan we were able to twist the engine slightly and uh, with some pounding of wood on the exhaust because it still wouldn't quite fit we finally got it in don't worry the exhaust wasn't harmed or damaged or anything but there she is the Lindsay Racing 944 NA MSDS headers are in fact in not fully they still need I need still need to pull them back off Put the gaskets on and then put the bolts back on but um if you guys have the same problem that i did where it won't fit up through that's definitely the best way to do it basically just the top bolts on that you guys probably can't really see it but the top bolts on that engine mount take those out there's little nuts down below them too holding them in so those will also come out those are 13 millimeter um i believe they're supposed to be torqued to 60 foot pounds i'm not 100 percent sure but i was not able to get a torque wrench on these because once you get the headers in they are so like crammed in there basically we had to get a smaller uh, ratchet for the back one the 13 millimeter wrench for the front one i had this bigger ratchet here with uh an actual swivel socket on it and another obviously 13 millimeter wrench uh i had liam basically he he actually came over and helped me so thank you to liam but he was able to get those bottom uh nuts threaded on which were super super difficult to get threaded on because i couldn't fit my fingers in there to get it threaded on i, I had to go like this and i couldn't even get it liam actually got it um and we were able to tighten it down he got it as tight as he could and i double checked it they're on there they're on there solid um trust me i got my hand pinned up against the engine from him tightening them so i they're they're on there um <laughs> So hopefully that's that's all good and kosher. But yeah, the only thing left really is uh, gaskets actually putting the manifold the rest of the way on. I uh, got the O2 sensor off of the old exhaust with a pipe wrench because it would not want to come off. Uh, you can see the wires dangling there. I have to run that up through, plug back into here, and it mounts right back here in those clips. I've also got to put this back together, which I believe is for cruise control, like I said, and then the fuel lines right here also need to be reconnected and this too i forgot about this coolant line it's got to be uh, put back into place but um, i'm also going to be while i'm working on this before i drive it again i also want to remove the rest of the power steering stuff so that'll be coming in a later video probably not today i'm just super super thankful and happy and excited i was literally running around because i finally got the headers in finally <clears throat> like i said it took some coaxing but they're in they are finally in Oh, it's such a good sight to see. Such a good sight to see. Well, time for a little break, I think. I think it's well deserved. That's, that was a lot of work in like 80 degree baking sun. It sucked a lot, but hey, it's in. That's all that matters. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. Well, in a moment for you guys. All right, so guys, right now I got the exhaust header kind of, I've got them off the studs, but uh, I got it kind of balanced on a bottle jack down there. Um, so right now I'm actually gonna be putting the gaskets on now these gaskets are a little different than the ones that i had before um so i talked to my friend he said this shiny side should go in towards the engine this should be manifold side so uh that's what we're going to do basically just slide these on i don't think there's any type of uh 
stuff you have to put between them and the engine or the exhaust uh, that I've saw in the last ones that I just took off and anywhere else on the internet. So that's what we're gonna go for. Let's go ahead and do this, get the gaskets on, get it all sealed up. All right guys, so I cleaned the surface of the, the two places these gaskets are gonna be up against to make sure there's no like, you know, junk between there to break the, the gasket job of, you know, sealing stuff. Um, but there they are, all four of them are in fact on and looking nice and pretty. Now I gotta slide the header onto those uh, manifold or those exhaust studs, which is not as easy as it sounds. Um, the header's not super heavy, but it's definitely not light and it's kind of lopsided and very hard to reach and grab in there. You also have to slide it on every single stud evenly, otherwise it will not go on. So this might take a little bit. <laughs> all right, well guys, I got it back on here now. Like I said, it has to all go on at the exact same time. So it's got to take a lot of patience. Uh, you got to be very like kind of gentle and delicate with it, trying to get it to perfectly slide onto there. But what I'm going to do now <clears throat> to make life easier on myself. I'm basically just gonna put the nuts and stuff on and tighten it down and kind of evenly push it up against there instead of trying to shove it up there with my hands and get it all the way on. Cause I feel like it's just gonna be easier to be honest with you. All right, so if any of you guys are putting this exhaust on your car, make sure, so this is the front uh, exhaust tube here. Make sure you put this uh, bolt on or this nut on first. It's the second one from the front because this exhaust will not allow you to lift the turn right here. It won't allow you to get this bolt or the washer on, which I actually might be able to try to get the original washer on because I had to change it because it was too thick to go through there. Might be able to get that on this. So I'm gonna try that now. And make sure you do this first before you even touch any of the other ones because that is like impossible to get to unless you have it like slid off. All right, so the car is back on the ground. The exhaust header anyway is completely and entirely on gaskets and nuts and everything. The coolant line is back in place. The cruise control is black. <laughs> back in place. The fuel lines are also back in place, and the O2 sensor is laced through here and connected. We can proudly say that we are now Porsche mechanics. Oh yeah. 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 All right, well guys, that's gonna do it for today's video. Um, finally got the headers in the car, completely and totally in the car. Everything's back in order in the engine. I could technically start it right now. Not going to, but um, I'm gonna wait until the rest of the exhaust is on, which probably happened on t Thursday, I believe, which is today's Monday. It'll happen Thursday, I believe. Um, I also want to take the rest of the power steering stuff off of it before I start it as well. Uh, before I give it its inaugural start. I'm super excited, super happy. The 944 is getting closer to coming back. I'm so excited. But anyway, I hope you guys all enjoyed the video. And go ahead and leave a like if you did. Subscribe for more content on the 944 and on the Crosstrek. And I'll see you guys next video. Thank you and have an amazing day.